G'day guys, thanks for stopping by to the Real Australian Dream Tour Diaries. Our names are Hayden and Amber, and we're on a mission to raise $50,000 for critically ill kids by playing music in caravan parks and campgrounds. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes of our lives on the road, as well as showing you around this amazing joint called Australia. Hope you enjoy this episode. Well, see you. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Today we're bloody getting in Great White Territory, seeing if we can get a feed of fish without getting eaten by sharks. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful campground to show you guys today, mate. She's an absolute rip snorter. I don't know, favourite yet. Um, but we're going to get up to a bit of cray and hopefully catch a few squid around here as well. Um, but just enjoy a bit of paradise. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Well team mate, how good does that look? Today I'm going to tell you guys all about Mason's Bay Campground. This spot is a little slice of paradise. Unfortunately the weather gods haven't turned it on for me today, but yesterday was absolutely magic. We're only spending a two or three day period here, um, but uh, it was too good not to share with you guys. To give you guys an idea of its location, we're about 40 kilometers away from a little town called Hopeton uh, in WA between Esperance, about two hours from Esperance, uh, and about uh, 300, uh, 300 k's from Bremer Bay on the WA coastline. Now, getting access to this spot is quite easy. So if you like snorkeling, if you like spear fishing, if you like diving, if you like squidding, if you like fishing off the beach, don't have to have a boat, whatever it is, then this place caters for everything and it's really, really bloody epic. And dogs are allowed too. We've got our two dogs with us, as you can probably see behind us, running amok. Uh, and they're, uh, they're enjoying our time here. Now, let's talk first and foremost about access. Off the highway, you're only about probably uh, half an hour of relatively good dirt road. There's a few potholes, a few little tiny bits, but mate, there is no, absolutely no dramas in bringing a two wheel drive out here. Uh, whatsoever it is really really good and it's just been graded a couple days ago too so they are maintaining it quite frequently as well now as we know in wa it stands for windy always doesn't it uh, and the wind here um, today is not that great um, but let me tell you up at the campground because you've got this these shrubs and these dunes behind us you wouldn't know it was blowing yesterday was an absolutely magic day with not a breath of wind today is not so great but you wouldn't know the difference up at camp so that's uh that's something to keep in mind as well if the weather's up a little bit and it's blowing around uh mason's bay is really protected uh because you do have quite a lot of protection between yourself and uh and the end of the campsites now the campsites are booked online i'll put the link here um during holiday season obviously it does book out but as always there are cancellations quite quite frequently so keep an eye on the website for uh for cancel uh for cancellations uh, if you are wanting to come to Mason's Bay, $16 per night per site. So that's what it's going to cost you. No extra for kids, no extra, no extras for adults. Just a flat $16 per night. They have a dump point here with a hose, which is good, and bins. But that's as, as much as facilities uh, they've got. Uh, so make sure you bring plenty of water uh, and everything you need um, to, uh, to sustain yourself here for your stay. Um, but yeah, mate, this place is bloody pretty epic. Let me tell you, it's, uh, the sites are big. It's only about 30 odd sites in uh, 32 sites, I believe, in the campground itself. Um, they're big. Uh, most of them are pretty big. Uh, on the booking online system, it will tell you the ones that are suitable for tents and, and caravans, etc. But apart from that, guys, an absolutely ripper spot. I love it. So we're going to go for a bit of a spear. We're going to go for a bit of a squid. Hopefully we can catch a few of those. I'll show you how to um, de-hood a squid as well because uh, we caught some of them yesterday as well, which is bloody epic. But only a short stay for us at Mason's Bay Campground. But put it on your list because, uh, yeah, it's quite an epic spot. Freedom 
Team, well, we bloody uh, we nailed a few squid. We've got Richie on the camera, five freedom travelers. Give them a bloody a follow. But we've got three nice squid here today, and um, one of the most annoying parts about them is obviously uh, you know getting them getting them ready to cook. So technique is if you zoom in here, Rich, you got the uh, got these little wings here. The trick is to get there your thumb in in underneath that, and you'll feel it peel off. You can see you can peel that off like that all the way up all the way back and then hopefully you should be able to just peel the hood of this fit uh, off the uh, off the squid same on this side peel that again down the side up there and that does a lot of the hard work for you so we're going to sort that out in a minute and then you just want to pick this shit off it's a bit of a, uh, it's more of an annoying task, but you sort of get a bit of a run on it. And you can, it uh, comes off in, uh, in large bits here. So it wasn't the biggest haul of squid that we've had, but certainly it's gonna make a good entree. What do you reckon? You. All right, and then this part here, what you gotta feel for, you'll, you'll break his little spine. You can see this little spine thing here. That, that goes right down the hood of it, and you want to follow your fingers all the way down there. And I'll same on the other side, and try and disconnect him as much as possible. Now you can see from the colour of the bucket, this is a situation you want to avoid. The last one was a bit of a was a bit of a uh, bit of a, a muck up. So you want to try and get this whole head out in one, so that that ink sac there, you can see it doesn't pop. You pop that bad boy, and well. You know what the you know what the rest means from here on in. Just want to try and get it out. You can turn them inside out if there's a bit of muck inside them. Just by uh, getting the uh, getting the end of it here and uh, do that. But that's your uh, that's your uh, that's your that's your sack. Pull them out of that. Chop up the calamari rings. There you go. There's dinner. Don't your beauty, eh? Calamari for dinner. Can we be friends again? I give up. I know how this ends Might sound strange